Hello again, Max McGee, 855 AM, cool 54. Marty, I swear, just like that. Just like that. Men in Black, we, we have a thing we can do magic, <laughs> yeah. But you never saw that. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and talk some radar here. There's some widely scattered moisture. It's aloft and not hitting the ground. Today of day, very much like yesterday, but five degrees cooler. 65 instead of yesterday, 70. Max, take it away. Starting this week, anyone can have a free coronavirus test, even if you don't have any symptoms. Yesterday, Maryland saw its biggest spike in COVID-19 cases, including the first confirmed COVID-19 child death. Here's Mike Shu. Good morning, Max. There are a number of developments. First, the teen from O'Donnell Heights is confirmed to have died from COVID-19. Dariana Dyson suffered from an inflammatory syndrome that has been seen in positive children nationwide. The governor is dramatically increasing the availability of testing starting tomorrow in Timonium and expanding to two other sites on Friday. A doctor's order and appointment are no longer necessary at the free state testing sites. Hogan is also allowing pharmacists to order and conduct tests and the state employee Union is protesting the lack of personal protective gear for thousands of frontline employees. I'm Mike Shue reporting for WJZ. Baltimore City has more than 4,000 confirmed cases and 202 deaths. Mayor Jack Young spotlights the need for more COVID-19 testing. He says Governor Hogan is committing 500 tests per week to Baltimore. 18,000 more have been acquired through a new partnership with lab vendor Hologic to disperse tests and analyze results in their own labs, hoping to speed up the process. The Maryland Restaurant Association says 25% of the state's restaurants will close for good after this pandemic. They're asking lawmakers for relief made for restaurants. Takeout and delivery just isn't enough to keep many spots open. Restaurants will also need to retreat train employees and manage capacity limits once they're allowed to reopen their dining rooms. Stay with WJZ. More news and weather today at noon.